Our guest, Bill Matinee, is NBC's Midwest correspondent. And um, in looking into your background a little bit, Mr. Matinee, I noticed that uh, you have a lot of experience with newspapers, and you were associated with a Negro newspaper in Detroit until 1961. And I wonder, as far back as 61, could you see all of the race riots and this sort of black power movement coming to the foreground? In 1961, I think we uh, began to see the beginning of a, a new philosophy that was based on uh, frustration and uh, the sort of frustration and desperation that is uh, born out of uh, uh, a lack of uh, demonstrable victories. And um, since that time, we have seen the eventual rejection of moderate Negro leadership in this country and the, and the advent of uh, militants, super militants, and uh, revolutionaries who expound uh, the philosophy that uh, all is hopeless in this country because of the lack of progress uh, over the past uh, 100 years. And uh, hopefully in 1968, we will uh, be able to see a resurgence of moderate Negro leadership in this nation because I feel uh, the cooperation between blacks and whites, particularly in this broad area of middle class leadership, is eventually going to prove to be the, uh, the salvation of this country and lead to the sort of real progress uh, we all want to see so badly. Bill Matinee, do you foresee uh, recurrences of the riots such as we had in Detroit last summer? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, How soon? Next summer or when? Very possibly next summer, almost certainly uh, in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention. Uh, very little has changed. Uh, in the big cities of the United States uh, since uh, the riots of 1967. Uh, as you know, the 90th Congress uh, just adjourned, and uh, there was no significant new uh, legislation passed. In fact, the poverty program was cut back. Um, as I said earlier, the extremists and the super-revolutionaries and militants uh, uh, have been organizing uh, across the country. There is a loose network of communication between these groups uh, out east, uh, in the Midwest, and on the West Coast. Um, there is a very terrifying capacity within the black ghettos of America's big cities uh, for destruction and violence. Uh, but at the same time, I, I, I feel uh, that uh, there is a tremendous capacity within the black ghettos of America for, uh, for positive good. The press was wrapped pretty good in certain circles, as you know, Bill Matinee, for uh, the coverage and the amount of coverage that was given to the riots. Do you feel that it, would it have made any difference at all in the scope of the riots if the press had just backed off, and let's say primarily the television press, would it have made any difference? Well, let me answer the question this way. I, uh, I was in Newark, I was in Detroit, I was in Milwaukee, I was in Louisville, Kentucky for some demonstrations there. And uh, I have yet to arrive on the scene before a riot occurred. And I have yet to arrive on the scene before a demonstration got out of hand. So the answer to your question then is no. I think uh, it is a responsibility of uh, the press, of electronic journalism, uh, the written word journalism to report a situation and reflect what actually is going on in this country. Uh, I, I think that is a primary responsibility of people in communications. One last question, Bill Matinee, and that is, how big an issue will civil, civil rights be in the 68 campaigns? I think aside from Vietnam, the question of civil rights will be the overriding domestic issue in this country in 1968. Thank you for talking with us today, Mr. Bill Matinee, who is NBC's Midwest correspondent. And this is Bobby Wygant. Until next time, then. Bye-bye.